Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard around the world. The Lost Wars on Poverty, on Drugs, on Slavery. Should we invite her in, wisdom proves a most dutiful senior partner. Are you shocked at academics who've just discovered descendants of slave owners and the enslaved are still waging war? Or that corporate-owned media has suddenly cast itself as Captain Renault, shocked, shocked to find that the police brutality is going on in here, the land of the free, when, in the home of the brave alone, man's inhumanity to humans of color has been going on in here since our forefathers lied to, stole from, and murdered the first Native American. After our civil war transformed us into superficial emancipation, warmongering turned its sights on subtler means of class warfare, though the Gettysburg Address was a conscious attempt to fill in historical gaps in our Declaration of Independence. Women remained second-class citizens without the right to vote, and former slaves, propped up as pretense of equality, served at the pleasure of we built that carpetbaggers. Maybe a prelude to Lapierre's demographically symbolic. Celebrating the Civil War's 150th anniversary and World War I's 100th, or 74 years since Pearl Harbor, or 52 since John F. Kennedy, while only 47 since King and Bobby, Kent State four, forty-five 45 years ago, 20 since Oklahoma children, 14 since 9-11, and 2 since Boston Marathon. Has commemorating violent death and destruction brought us to an appreciation for Article 1, Section 8, Clause 12 of the U.S. Constitution? Or are we a canvas still for campus open carry? Wars, like hearts and minds, are not won by blood in our streets, nor by profit-manipulated multiplying of prison populations, militarized law enforcement, and corporatism's need to empower the good life on the backs of the new slavery, harvesting food, sweatshops, and the unlivable minimum wage. Yet in a region replete with ancient animosities, a NATO ally in the war against ISIS has probably massacred, between 1822 and 1904, well over a quarter of a million people. Yet few nations, including our own, are blameless in a world where poverty and war claim the ignored lives of millions— even as they try to flee Africa in 2015 aboard inadequate boats for the chance of both life and safety in the West. Yes, all lives matter. Words matter. Ideas matter. Mutually created solutions matter. However, if we are to progress from repeating past human peculiar institutions, militarized police, and failing to connect the dots between community intimidation, drug lords, obese poverty, and government arms deals, we must retire rhetoric and employ listening to the truth of reconciliation. I beg all academic writers, commissions, and study groups to pause long enough to listen to those we claim we are saving before producing any more textbooks, findings, and white papers of half-truths. Because the whole truth is, we know much too little about the Middle East to invest so much war power to educate such a culturally complex region in slavery and torture Western style. Better to listen to our own bully targets tell their stories of teen-induced suicide by other teens. Give the mic to domestically abused wives and girlfriends. Grant those who know firsthand the horror of rape a chance to speak without judgment and condemnation. Give stage to those who have directly suffered from human trafficking, kidnapping, wrongful imprisonment, gun violence, and lynching. With unprecedented, undivided attention, acknowledge all historically enslaved people, Native Americans, Chinese and Mexican immigrants, Immokulee farm workers, Japanese Americans remanded during World War II, 
in addition to Africans brought to America against their will to be bought and sold as property. Offer a listening challenge to both the descendants of irreparable damage and those instilled with the expectancy of privilege and entitlement, still benefiting from the Jeffersonian model of institutional slavery, having it both ways. Now, anywhere USA, open minds, share, open mic. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.